Today's Garage Cooking Challenge is going to be kind of a culinary masterpiece if it turns out right. Um, this is one of the pheasants I brought home from South Dakota. It's, I, I use the whole birds because there's a lot of meat in the legs. Sometimes I grind the meat off the legs. But uh, I will be cooking that with a combination of different mushrooms, white and portobello. And uh, the other ingredients are some flour to thicken the gravy a bit. I'll use some butter. Uh, tempered by some olive oil as we brown the meat first. Uh, add about a cup of white wine, cup of chicken broth, and uh, some onion. And uh, what I'll do is prepare the, the uh, mushrooms and the gravy really first after I sear the, the breasts and legs a little bit. And then uh, you put it all back in the pot and I will cook it in this uh, Dutch oven uh, on a simmer for about 20 minutes and it, it's very easy to overcook uh, pheasant when I brown it so it'll just be in there for a, a minute or two just enough to seal, seal the meat. I pluck ducks but uh, pheasants are much easier to skin much like quail and uh, this is gonna turn out good I think we'll, we will serve it with cranberry sauce probably mashed potatoes with the gravy from the, the mushrooms and uh, some probably green beans. But Rhonda will do that part. I'm just gonna be cooking the birds and the mushrooms and it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'll, I'll be prepping this stuff, then I'll come back and explain what we're doing in sequence. But I'm excited about it. So as I cut the onion here, you probably hear some background noise uh, I've got a little electric heater. We've had a cold spell. The garage is pretty cold. My fingers get numb. So I'll put this onion aside for now. Then I'll get the bird ready. I'm gonna breast it, cut the legs off, rub in some salt and pepper. I put that someplace where it doesn't get my eyes so bad. So, I'll breast this by cutting down along the breastbone and going forward right up to where the wishbone is. And then I'll cut under that to get the most meat off. The inner breast muscle. come off like this and down along the inside and then I'll get it off the end. Like that. So I'll do the other side and then cut the legs off and I'll have that. On a pheasant the fat is this yellow and pheasant fat is not a additive that you want like you do duck fat. So you trim it Trim most all of it off. And these are ready to go to the pan. Cut this one last one off. I'll probably trim some bits off of this to throw in the pot. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is salt and pepper the meat and rub it in on both sides. Pheasant legs down here in the bottom have what they call stays, they're like little needles. There's six or seven or eight of them in there. And that's why most people don't eat the drumsticks. But you'll see that when you prepare them like this, you can eat the, the drumstick and uh, pick those little needles out. I'll put a picture of them in the uh, final here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is heat up the pan and then sear the meat on both sides. Okay, and that's ready to go. So, it 
says to put this in for just two minutes. I'm going to start my little clock there. Put it in on one side. I think I'll just do these one at a time. Oh, I'm going to do And you want to be careful because you could easily cook these through in a few minutes. And you don't want to do that. So you just want them in there for a little bit. To sear the meat. Turn it over. Like that. And that's enough. You can see they change color. I'll put those aside. Then I'll put in the legs. Same thing. Do them for a little bit on each side, but don't cook them. Okay, so now I'm cutting up the mushrooms. These are about half what's called white mushrooms and the other half are portobellos. But they are doing just fine. One more minute. Yeah. Throw in those little pieces of meat that I will have snack. And get this all ready to go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is add some more butter and uh, get the mushrooms cooking and I'll put in the onions. That's a long go well. Using Rhonda's Christmas gift, I'll use this scraper. The lady on TV on Instagram does it. She always goes, Okay, two more sticks of butter, uh, two more tablespoons of butter. Onions and mushrooms. We be rocking, baby. Okay, I've got the wine and the chicken broth ready to go. This is looking pretty good. You need to do that with the lid on, it makes the mushrooms uh, soften up a lot faster. Add some flour to thicken the gravy, but you have to be careful because it will lump up if you're not. Sprinkle a little around, stir it in. You've got things going pretty well. Put it in there like that. And I'll cover it up. Put it on low heat for about 20 minutes to simmer. So, it has gone well. The thing uh, is going to turn out just perfect. Here's what we got. And it's going to be delicious. Rhonda is inside now making some mashed potatoes and uh, green beans. And we'll serve this with cranberry sauce. And it will be awesome. So, at this time, I'll take a picture at the table. <laughs>